Yo, welcome to feeding time. I am the big guy Ryback. Nice, beautiful Sunday morning out here. And uh, this morning, guys, I'm doing a break, uh, Jack in the Box breakfast mukbang. Is that what oh, you kids call these things mukbangs? Bang. I don't really get it. Um, so what I'm doing is, is I got a lot of content I got to do today. Along with a huge leg workout, conditioning, abs. I actually, guys, I did we're gonna video. Dallas, if you could show people, because I know from the last time, uh, we got some new palm trees back here. And I got one more actually being put in over here uh, this week. And uh, I guys showed you guys a real quick clip. Uh, we can plug that in here. Um, I guess now, the wrestler, where the wrestling is going to go. Dallas, you can show them the clip. A little shot of the backyard here from the video. This is the side. Get the shed over there. Punch a bag where I'm going to be doing more work. I got to get another speed bag. The sun beats the hell out of that. Getting another palm tree right here. So you can shut the fuck up. I don't have enough palm trees. See, we already got more. There, the pool. This is where... Side of the house. Come on, little guy. Dad, shut the fuck up. 600 pound tire laced with steel. Little backflip thing. I'm gonna put in the ring. I do tire strikes over on this. So this is where hot tub, cold tub Ryback rules. Sun beats all this up. So I'm gonna get an 18 foot ring. I've already measured. We got enough space right here um, to put an 18 by 18 foot ring. I could fit a 20, but it'd be so tight. I need to make sure there's room back here still. And uh, there we go. All right, so you guys see that's where the wrestling ring's gonna go. I forgot to, to show people. And actually, I'll be able to have like my boxing coach come out once again and uh, my uh, a jiu jitsu instructor and train just in my ring and then along with the wrestling and get back, uh, work on some things my fake punches and uh, the, uh, you don't forget how to do that shit. It's like riding a bike, wrestling, I have the conditioning, it's all there. But uh, just to work on some things, so. But I got four more stem cell procedures. One's coming up here on the 18th of Vegas. And then I'm waiting to go down to Bio Accelerator and get the other one, so. Just shut the fuck up with the wrestling stuff till I'm ready, okay guys? Appreciate it. I love you though for caring, but I can't, can't take too much more of it. Wake up a limited energy. Woo! All right, so today I'm doing the ultimate breakfast sandwich. I got the, I think this is something sausage lovers, sausage, extreme sausage here, and the meat lovers breakfast burrito. Um, and then I got some curly fries because they didn't have like hash browns there. So I figured I needed some sort of potato. Um, my diet's been really, really extreme on the, I'm to explain this for you guys, because some people have a really tough time. I'm doing a cheat meal where I, where I eat some meat or some chicken. I'm eating every meal, Monday through Saturday, and then Sunday, I'll put my calories into maybe doing a cheat meal or two where I actually don't keep my calories what they should be. Maybe they might go a little over. But then I follow that up with a 24 hour fast. I'm doing primarily, literally, green beans, broccoli, spinach, salad. Um, and then I do like my, I do some eggs. I do my iso, iso hungry whey protein, grass fed isolate. And I do the, I have the Beyond Meat uh, patties and these uh, chorizos that are uh, vegetarian, vegan chorizos and uh, I'm trying to think what else I do for I, uh, in a can of organic black beans in the morning, but my carbs are primarily outside of those black beans from vegetables all day, under 100 grams every day. And I've, I've actually, it, it's, I'm going hard, getting in the best shape, going into these stem cell procedures. So I'm having a meal. I haven't, the people, I've said to people, like, you've completely fallen off the vegetarian or the vegan. No, I've explained it, and I'm explaining it again in this. So if you just listen... Quit being stupid. You understand what I'm doing here, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. 
this sausage here, guys. We're gonna we got two sausage patties, cheese, egg, and the sun beating down on my bald head. I do my laps out here every day. My bite mark. Starting to get hot as hell in Vegas. Been over a hundred. Got over a hundred the other day. Ah. Shirt says, do the work. So if you're a little bitch that complains all the time, maybe go buy my shirt. Do the work. I think I got four or five videos to do today. The Lord says someday shall be a day of rest. Unless you're the motherfucking big guy, you go even harder. Because when you own your own business and company, nobody else can do the work except for you. Well, I do have a team working with me. But they take Sundays off. I don't. Just for what I'm trying to do. I enjoy it. Like, I'm having fun. I think I can record myself eating fucking food out here. Beautiful Sunday. All right, this is the ultimate breakfast sandwich. We got cheese, bacon. Looks like ham and egg. The ultimate breakfast sandwich. I don't know why food reviewers show you guys the bite marks, but I just started doing it a while back. It is hot. My head's on fire. Little Sophie fell off the bed today. Hi, too. Always been a fear of mine with her since her back. I get up this morning. I always get out of bed, go drain the pickle, come back. Dogs. There, they like to give me my morning kisses. I give them kisses. Just 5, 10, 15 minutes, just play with them on the bed. I do it before I go to bed, too. Doggy daddy shit. And Sophie, somehow, after I got done petting her and I got up, I wasn't getting, standing up from my knees. She was lying on the edge of the bed and, like, went to, like, go scratch her ear or something. <laughs> just fell off the bed. And I freaked, and I actually was able to catch her. And where she landed and, like, came down on her front paws, and then just lie down. She was totally all right. But it would have, she was going to go ass over tea kettle. Her little body. My little angel. I got to protect her. Ah. 
What a breakfast. I wonder what my neighbors think of me. I didn't even know anyone lived by me. I never saw people. Nobody ever came out of their houses. I was the only one that walks their dogs around here. Now everybody's outside. All around the neighborhood. Literally all the time. Well, where the fuck were you guys before? Karen? Jeff? In there playing your fucking video games? So yeah, people live by me. Hard to see, is this recording? The sun is so bright, hopefully the quality. I know somebody got hot that the waterfall was gone. I just saw one complaint on that, so I made sure I, I left it on. Hopefully get a few more this time. So many pigeons out here. They love the solar panels. All of us over here got solar panels. It's like a thing, you see one neighbor do it, you're like, I wanna do it. I invented solar panels. <clears throat> I'm kidding guys, this is uh, Solar City Elon Musk. I'm sure someone's gonna get hot over just mentioning his name. I'm gonna leave like a fucking five page rant on the thing that we're just gonna mute and not read and let them waste their time, but Elon Musk. Mm. Could use some hot sauce. Oh, my phone's not overheating. Mm. So funny to me. Me and Dolph Ziggler, we like to, 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 to joke around. And we'll just randomly, it's just kind of, it's hilarious because we've, we've acknowledged this so many times that we're friends and like, we just do things to just pop each other and like Twitter, either I'll start it or he'll just randomly and, you know, if a few weeks or a month goes by, we'll just re restart it up or just take shots at each other. And he, I get on, last night I sit down at the end of the night and I see he puts out like a couple of tweets <laughs> and uh, just get the people all worked up that take all this shit so damn seriously. Just texted laughing. I bring up, we, we both hate punk. Not hate him, I shouldn't say that, but you know, we don't really think too highly of him. And uh, so I try to always include him whenever I uh, can on the things. Oh, you see how the people, how serious they take. You can see guys were friends, were joking around, and they still can't comprehend it. We're not even involved in wrestling right now. Man, I tell you, I would hate myself if I took something that serious and let it ruin my life. These birds are all on the houses watching me. I'm, luckily, I'm sitting out here, I'm covered. They could do a drive-by shit on me though, if they wanted.
They've been shitting on the side of my house somehow, and on my shed. I don't mind though. They're just birds. Ah. <coughs> you eyes left. He's throwing me off. Mm. Civilized Neanderthal. Living amongst amongst other Homo sapiens. Mm. All right, done. That was the Jack in the Box breakfast mukbang. Wake up a little bit of energy, pink lemonade. It's watered down a bit. I always add more and more water. I just enjoy sipping it. Though if you just do this stuff straight, like quick, like if that was just the amount of water that I used and drank it all right away, it hits hard. Like it is, it is badass. I like to just kind of keep the energy going at a steady rate when I sip it in the morning because I'm working for shit. I still got to do a bunch of stuff here before I even get going. I'll come out here, do my hot tub, cold tub. Do cold tub, hot tub over there. Then I come over here, I did like yesterday. Uh, this pool's got pretty good length. This is a good sized pool for Vegas. Um, even though I actually wish it was way bigger. That's what she said. Um, I did 20 laps yesterday. Do the old, what is this, the breaststroke? And then I, uh, was that the breaststroke? I don't the dog will, doggy paddle, but not doggy paddling, like Olympic swimming. Although I'm probably not quite as graceful as uh, someone like a Michael Phelps, but I'm also 300 pounds and I move. I, I, I need to have a videographer to live here with me, even though I, I don't really like around people that much. I'd have to be maybe a hot female videographer. That would make me, that would motivate me. That wouldn't annoy me nearly as much. It's not a bad idea. The male videographers are fucking weird. Hey, I don't know if you guys, it's just my experience. Most of them get into it just to like record the fitness models and the big pervs. Oh, looking good, Susan. Yeah, more cleavage, more ass. Can't have that in my house. I can't have Susan. She doesn't know how to record. Hmm. Anyways. All right, guys, that, uh, shut the fuck up and do the review. That was my, the Jack in the Box breakfast mukbang. Um, my favorite, the, the ultimate breakfast sandwich, the meat lovers burrito, breakfast burrito, and the, um, ultimate sausage sandwich, along with the curly fries. I think the ultimate sausage sandwich was my favorite out of all of them. Though this breakfast, though, I, I thought the burrito could have used a little, um, something a little more flavor. I don't know whether some sort of sauce in it. I, I think hot sauce would have been. They didn't give me any in the bag. They didn't ask either. So uh, I'm going to give this breakfast though, guys. I'm giving it. I'm giving it a, a strong four. Four stars out of five. And uh, right there on the thumbs up. And I enjoyed it as I do everything. I'm very. I, I told Al Snow once during a tough enough eating. Al, every meal is my favorite meal, or every meal is my best meal. And that's just I'm grateful to be in the moment of eating that particular meal. And I think that's that's the right mindset to have. At least it's worked for me. So, guys, I, I appreciate you guys watching. Nothing but love and support. Please uh, turn on your notifications for fuck's sake. Uh, we're just signed with BBTV uh, on here. And uh, hopefully get these uh, the, 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 the views up again. They used to be in the hundreds of thousands. And then YouTube, everything. <laughs> And uh, the YouTube machine is no big guy. Just like every other social media, we work with WWE and we can't let you get too big. Can't. We got to control you. Control.
so we're gonna we're figuring out a way to break through that. But if you guys do turn on your notification, you really fucking help out a lot. And because uh, this money will be that we get from this channel will eventually be going towards my uh, WWE lawsuit uh, of my the trademark Ryback trademark because I am not letting them have that. Even though I could use the name, it's my legal name. I do not want them having anything uh, ownership wise of me, and that comes up in August. So. The supplements you guys could support through Feed Me More Nutrition. We just had our best month again ever. FeedMeMore.com on that, and because uh, that's going to cost, it's going it to it's going to be upward to two hundred thousand by the time it's all said and done. If they don't drop it, and there's there's a chance they may drop it, and I will try and have a communication with Vince on one thing, but uh, it, it, it's just bullshit. We've seen them with the other people. They, I, I want it to be done with, and uh, I'm in such a great place and have been able to do so many other great things and they just don't, they don't, it's not theirs. I created it before it was there. We have the video proof of it. Uh, of when I was wrestling, not in WWE, where I created Ryback and um, along with Feed Me More and the big guy and all that, which I own those things. So. And I could be Ryback anywhere, the big guy Ryback, but I just don't want WWE. They don't want them having any piece of me, monetizing any piece of me in the future. And uh, it is, uh, they're not going to. I've beat them every step of the way and I will continue to beat them. It's just, uh, it's unfortunate that things have to be that way. And, uh, but we'll have one little call with Vince and we'll see. What kind of old, what, we're not gonna say anything mean about him. And uh, we'll see what happens. But if not, I'll just beat them and have to take it. Cause it's only, they can't, I already know, I, the, the upper limits are 200,000 if they try to drag everything out. So I'm like, okay, we could fucking, that's the game you wanna play. We'll play that game, and uh, they can't really drag it out past anything past that. So he's kind of because it's not with a regular attorney; it's a trademark office. So they're, he's they're pretty handcuffed on that. It's not like going to regular court or anything where they could just fucking delay things and try to try to bleed you out. You can't do that with this. So also, we could do a GoFundMe where I go, hey, if every fan just donates a dollar, let's go ahead and keep the Ryback trademark in house where it belongs and prove a point for the for the future of the business that WWE does not own what they didn't create. I think it sets a great sends a great message. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Ryback TV. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry. Feed me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, conversation with the big guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. Ah, new customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.